Good morning, everybody. It's going to be a bloody good day today. Do you know why I know that? i tell you why I know that. Because we're going to get this rotavator going. That's what we're going to do. But before we do that, we've got something very, very important. And that is a bourbon cream and a bit of coffee. Oh, yes. You know what? Do you know what? This is what it's all about. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the one. The last thing I did, um, I tried to get a spark on that. I didn't try to get a spark on this one, but I tried to get a spark on that. I didn't want to have to take the flywheel off, but we can't get a spark, so I'm going to have to take the flywheel off and see uh, whether we've got points or not. That's what we've got to do there, dudes. Now, this is uh, part three. This now, what I'm filming, is part three, I think, in this little series. It's either three or two, I think it's three. Now, the last one I filmed went live today. So, you've probably been comment. Well, you, well, it will be going live today. So, you, no, tomorrow, tomorrow. It'll be going live tomorrow. Sorry, it's going live tomorrow when I'm filming this. But by the time you see this one, and that would be up, so don't worry about that. So, you're going to be, having, you're probably going to be commenting. Going blah, 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 do this, do that. But, hopefully, it'll be running by the end of this video. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a flywheel, have a look to see if we've got any damage behind there, a bit of rust, but just rust. But let's see, let's have a look to see what's going on, because, to be honest, I'm just happy, and I just really want to just take things apart today. Let's take everything apart. Let's take everything apart. Oh. There we go, my laddie friends, and that's how you do it with a bit of a hammer and a crowbar. That's one flywheel off. Now, what have we got under here? How do we get this off? Get rid of that. Well, can you see that there, my friends? Water coming out from inside there. So that means we might have potentially more damage than I was expecting. So if there's points in there, they're gonna be rusted to absolute buggery. Never mind, let's have a look. Take it off and see what's inside. There you go, my friends. Can you see from that angle? I think you possibly can. So let's take it apart and have a look. See what we've got in here. I don't know what I want to find. Some of them had points and some didn't. The earlier ones had points. And uh, then they phased it out. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that there. Look at that there, dear boy. Dear boy. Dear boy. Oh dear boy, let's get this pipe out of there now, so we can, oh there's no key, there was, there was no key in there, Colin, Colin, have you had this apart before dear boy, there was no key, dear Colin, this one, for those of you confused, this whole rotavator I got from Colin Kettley. Uh, <laughs> and there's no key, dude. Where's the keyway? Where's the old woodruff? Where's Mr. Woody? Where's the old woodruff, eh? What's going on? It ain't falling out. It ain't on the floor. Well, the timing was probably out. Even if it was going to move. Which it ain't. Oh, it is. Oh, it is moving. But the timing was probably out because there ain't no bloody... There ain't no um, key, dude. Old chappy laddie. What's going on? Stay... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna contact the old Colin and see what he says. Hey, hey. 
Right, you bunch of scallywags. So, this one had no key in it. Just for fun, I tried to make a key out of a nail, but bloody hell, like. And I tried to make a key out of a nail, but it went nowhere near, it was a bit, uh, it's too sloppy. That's, that's no good whatsoever. So, I took this one apart. This is the engine that I want to get running, yeah? I've explained this many times, I'm going to salvage parts off of this one to get that one, but I wanted to get this to run, then I know the parts are good. But, seeing as it ain't got no key, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm not going to mess around with this one anymore. I'm just going to take the parts off it and put it onto the one that I want to get going. So, luckily, luckily this one, this is what's supposed to be in there. This is called a key, or a woodruff key. It's just a, a little piece of um, metal. And that goes in that groove on there. And that groove in there. And it stops it from moving around. And it keeps it where it's meant to be. Keeps the timing correct. Um, yeah, that's, just, that's the point of it. You can broach your own keys with a key broacher. Which I haven't got. I need the raw material. Um, we can just buy some more keys. But luckily this one's got a key in it. So what I'm going to do is take the points and everything, oh, everything I need, because this is all broken, see, and the coil and everything, and put it in here, and then, fingers crossed, that's all, fingers crossed that that one in there does work, and we'll have a, we should have a spark, and then we, we're halfway there to get, once I've got a spark, I will get it running, because there's no doubt about it, it will run if I can get a spark, yeah? I hate engines that don't have a spark, because it's just, it's, I hate it. Same as I hate timing. In fact, I just hate everything. <laughs> no, I love everything. But I'm least fond of an engine that doesn't have a spark. To be honest, if someone comes to me and says, I've got this engine, uh, you know, do you want to buy it? And I'll say, what's wrong with it? And, and they say, oh, it ain't got a spark. The first thing I'll do is I'll try a different plug in it. If I can't get a spark, then I'll probably leave it. Because I just, I don't like it. But points and condensers are incredibly simple because usually they just go a bit rusty and you can clean that up um, and you, away you go but anyway same as i hate timing anyway so let's get going with that i'm a bit excited i won't lie i'm so excited i've eaten the whole packet of biscuits let's uh, see what we can make up because that's all I do on this channel. I make everything up. I wing it as I go along there, dudes. That's the way you got to be in life. Just wing it. Right then, my friendly friends. Do you remember the story I told you about this rotavator here? Was that one day it just uh, just, just stopped sparking. It wouldn't start. So it was given to somebody who was supposed to be a mechanic and uh, take it apart to have a look what the problem was. Well, he couldn't get a spark either, and he diagnosed the coil, which it may still be because I haven't got it running yet. But he didn't take the flywheel off, and he most certainly didn't go into here because this had um, a load of sealant still around it, old sealant all stuck in. These had never been touched, and we've got a lot of rust and corrosion on there. So. I'm suspecting that that was the problem why we never had a spark to start with but I don't know yet until it's actually been running but this has definitely not been taken apart because look at all the old grease and dirt that's still on here if somebody had been in here to take this apart you know this would all be clean or at least there would be fingerprints or bits that have come off or been cleaned off but all the grease was all over the bolts like, I mean, like, grime and dirt like this was all over the bolts and everything. So it's definitely not been taken apart. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed at this point that that was the trouble. But it doesn't matter anyway, because I've got a new coil, or second-hand coil, and, you know, it's all going to be replaced anyway. But I reckon that that is the, the problem. That was the problem, I, I would say. So anyway, I'm going to clean some of this off. And uh, look at all the loads of oil in here. Oil and grease that's been coming from various places, probably. Wouldn't surprise me if a bit of a leak. But anyway, I'm going to swap them all over now and we'll see what happens.
Right then, you lot, I've got the firewall back on, everything's back on, that coil's on, everything's on. So, let's see if we're going to get a spark. I've got my trusty drill here with a thing on the end of it, because I might have to take it apart and adjust the points here, I don't know. So, spark plug's down there, that should be quite a reasonable earth. Reasonable earth, so let's see what we get. Oh yes! Look at that my friends! We're sparking! That's a nice, that's a bloody nice healthy blue one as well. Sweet! Right, so what I'm going to do, get, um, oh well, put a plug in it. We should better get it to fire up. Here we go then. Alright you lot, it's probably, I don't know, I can't find a good angle for you. So I've just kind of put you up there. But, um, I don't know what, I can't remember where the throttle is, so I've messed around with it. I've put the plug in it. I'm just going to see if I can get the fire. I put a little bit of stuff down it. So we'll just see if we can get a fire out of it. See if we can get it to fire. Ah, I was getting ready to start the old beast. But then I realised that we had no compression. And it was breathing out of the carb. It was going at the carb it was, so I was like, oh me, we must have a stuck intake valve. So I uh, whipped the head off to have a look, see what we've got. A bit of debris in there, so I'll give that a bit of a clean up while I'm, here, while I'm in there. The piston looks alright. I'll give that a little bit of a clean up while I'm in there. But I think we've definitely got... A stuck valve. <laughs> the exhaust one goes up and down. Needs a bit of a clean. But the intake one is stuck open. So I'll see if I can unstick it and then uh, I'll give it a clean up with a bit of a wire brush and put it back together and see if we can get it to go. Exhaust. Intake. Exhaust. Intake. <laughs> I don't know how I've done it. Good old fashioned engine oil because it was stuck up, wasn't it? Uh, I put that in there underneath it, squeezed a load of oil in there, let that soak for about five minutes. And then I went and got my trusty heat gun, heat it up around there to make it all sort of expand and get nice and warm. And all I'd done was I turned the engine so that I knew that it was on the uh, intake stroke and very gently, very gently just knocked the valve a little bit and it started to go down. Once it started to move I pushed it down with my finger, it was buddy off I pushed it down with my finger and it went down and obviously as I turned the engine over the cam shaft pushed it back up again and then it got stuck up again, so I pushed it down my finger one more time and now it's completely free. It's 100% free now. So all I'm going to do, clean up a little bit more mess, put the head back on and give it another go see if we can get a start.
Well, they fired anyway. I don't know what way is bloody open and what way is closed though. I'm going to be working. Ever had no change in its life. Blimey. Probably the way it burns it. <laughs> we'll get some fresh 1540 in there. Yeah. Oh, it's getting a bit late and a bit dark out here now. But if you like that, then uh, like and subscribe. There's a series. This is part three. Oh, what's that one about? Now? This is part three in the series. So we've got it running, obviously. So next time we're going to give it a proper clean an old change, air filter change, get it running properly mint. So if you like that, then uh, stick around for the next one, dudes. See you in the next one.